Okay, in this video I'm going to explain to you um, how you can turn on your MacBook when you have a broken keyboard, like I do. Uh, as you can see when I uh, press the power button, uh, yeah, nothing, nothing's really happening. I can uh, try all sorts of different key combinations, but as you can see there's no life uh, in this button. So uh, what you're going to need to do is uh, unplug the power cable you're going to want to close your macbook and uh, what you're going to need is a uh, oh shit dropped the screw there uh, you're going to need a screwdriver uh, i think it's called a pentalope screwdriver and uh, it's a screwdriver with five pins i'm not sure if it's focusing but anyway you need that to um, remove the screws from the back plate and as you can see I did it already um, once you've done uh, once you've removed all the eight screws you can remove the back plate by uh, getting your fingernails between here and jerking it off and you're gonna want to look for the battery connector and on this model it's right here and I think it's on the most models in this position and you're gonna want to uh, unplug the battery connector uh, these are the batteries this is the connector you're gonna want to get your fingernail under here and pull it up like so as you can see the batteries are now disconnected Next, you flip uh, over your MacBook again, and as you can see, when I touch the, uh, the power button, uh, still nothing is happening, of course, because it's got no power. Uh, you're gonna want to get your power cable and plug it in your MacBook, like so. Uh, as you can see, there's a green and then an orange light coming up, and boom, there it goes. It's powering up. I can now just, you know, uh, put it on my desk, connect a external keyboard to this piece of shit, because that's what it is really. I don't know why the keyboard's already broken after just a year, and Apple won't give me a warranty, so, but anyway, you can, uh, use your Mac via an external keyboard and mouse so at least you can get uh, access to your files and everything your programs so you can make a, a backup copy or uh, whatever uh, before you get it fixed so that's how you uh, power up your MacBook when your keyboards are broken alright thank you for watching I hope it was helpful bye